Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Wednesday the 13th of July 2022. How are you doing today? It's a very quiet day here. It is a Buddhist holiday today actually. Uh, a lot of people went to the temple before but uh, not me. And um, uh, it's been raining on and off virtually the whole day. It's been a quite, uh, cool day which has been great for me because it meant that I could listen to my music without having a fan switched on you know normally I actually I'm a bit of a hi-fi buff to be honest with you and uh, recently I got a new turntable which having had my old turntable busted for years and years finally gives me a chance to relive some of my vinyl music um, and uh, it's really good and uh, nice to be playing again um, but the uh, uh, usually uh, because it's so hot here you need air conditioning or a fan or something on and uh, so it's it, the, the, the rain all day has cooled stuff down enough where I've been able to listen without having any distracting noises such as fans or air conditioning etc and uh, that's been good I'm also in quite a good mood because I've gone back to anosmia what does that mean it means that at the moment I'm quite happy that I can't smell anything uh, those of you who are new to the channel or haven't been here for long might not know that I suffer from anosmia uh, that's that thing that lack of smell that you know was quite popular for COVID patients <laughs> but for the, those people that's a kind of usually a temporary thing but for me it's been permanent for many many years um, but uh, it unfortunately comes with other symptoms as well it's not just anosmia which is no smell uh, it comes with other conditions as well such as parosmia and lock smells and phantom smells and that means that uh, it's not just a, a zero smell sometimes you get um, bad smells well for the last four or five days I've had this fake smell of that that belonged to everything and I'm saying everything what I mean when I mean everything I really mean everything if I smelt tried to smell anything that means my hands my clothes furniture bed sheets food everything smelt the same and it was a kind of metallic type smell that's the only way I can describe it it's not not like an actual real smell it's a very weird kind of fake smell and I've had that for like four or five days which is uh, not nice I can promise you real nice when you can't when you all your food tastes horrible smells horrible tastes horrible and uh, everything smells of kind of strange metal um, it's nice to get back to having zero smell again. I'm really happy that I've got no smell again. <laughs> Gone back to regular anosmia of zero smell. Sometimes that's a relief, believe it or not. <laughs> Strange, huh? Okay, let's get on with the Los Angeles Times then. So what do I see? I see sevens blocking across here, those two rows, and put a seven into that square there. I thought I saw something else while I was chatting to you, and now I've lost it again. Uh, did I see something? Oh yeah, let's see it. Five blocking across here, five blocking across here, five up there. So let's have a five just so. Then five blocking down here, five blocking down here, and five across there. So in we go with the five. Five across this row, across this row, and down here. That's more than I imagined we were going to get. Um, oh. Okie dokie, five down here, five up here, five across here, so there's a five, and I think we've just got one more to go, haven't we? Fives like this. Is this the last one? It is indeed. Okay. Alright, that's a nice little start then. Uh, what else can we do? and get to grips with this okay we've got fours blocking across this row and this row so we'll put four there we have threes blocking down here down here and across here there we go. 
Let's have a look and see what's missing in this row here. We have, are still missing one, two, uh, six, eight. Is that going to help any? Uh, maybe not. Uh, it does put sixes into those squares, but um, it's not particularly great just yet. Ah, we've got two blocking down here and two up here, so two goes there. Where to look? Where to look? Mm, just been drawing out patterns of sevens in my head, but no, can't get it. nines. I just want to see where the nines go. They go like this. missing across this row here. Uh, three, four, eight, nine. Is that any good? Yes, three, eight, and nine. Blocking this square, so that's got to be a four. Okay. Okay, let's just hit the numbers and see if anything uh, looks easy.
Ah, seven, nine. Okay. So seven and seven, nine blocks down here, seven, nine blocks across here. So we've got ourselves a pair of seven and nine here. Right. This is seven and nine. So uh, can we get the ones here? No. The twos. Come on, you must give me something here. <laughs> um. Um. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, I know sixes are there, I know eights are there. Six, eight, seven, nine. But the one and two still giving me headache. Damn. Okay, let's just on the off chance, I don't think it's likely, but if we know seven and nine are there. What else are we looking for? Uh, one, two, four, uh, one, two, four, eight, I guess. Mm, it's no good for me. All right. <laughs> oh, well. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing very well with the eights there. So I think uh, I'm going to switch to pencil marks now to finish the game off because I don't see me going much further with this. Okay, so let's see. Any paired pencil marks for one? Uh, maybe not. How about the twos? Well, we have a pair of twos there. And we have twos across that row. And so two ah, twos up here. That means that this is a two, right? Okay. <laughs> Alright, we've got two blocking uh, across here. So that puts two in these squares here. So two here and here. Down here we have two blocking across here. So it means we've got two in the left column and the right column. So that means that these two only, two, only need to look for two in these two squares. We have a blocking two here, so we can place our two there. Then that's going to be a two, and that is not going to be a two. Can we get any more by any chance? Uh, maybe not. 
so let's have a look and see what's missing here now. So eight and nine are missing. Is that going to help us? What? Yeah. So then we know the eights are here, but I knew the eights were here already, so that, that's not anything new. How about when it's nines? What do we know about nines? Nines go there. No, still already had nines there before, so that's not new either. Ah, nines are in these squares, right? I did say seven and nine here, so this can't be a nine. That has to be a nine, and this has to be an eight. Okay, so now eight blocking down here, eight blocking down here. We can put our eight there. Okay, missing numbers up here then are uh, five and six. No, they're not. Tell a lie. Six and seven is what I should say. Six, six and seven in here. Sorry, six and seven. Actually, we've got sixes blocking here, six blocking here, so that's a six there. Um, so this is two or, or one in those squares. Uh, where was I? Six, seven up here, so uh, the other numbers are uh, fours go in those squares. But a one can go in any of them at the moment. Let's see if anything else now is uh, easier to get. So now we have a pair of threes down here, and we have threes here. Threes are a pair there. Fours are a pair here and here. And fours are a pair here. So that means they must be in the top row there. We've got a blocking four here. So fours are up there somewhere. And now when we say four blocking across here and up here, we mean that we know the fours are there. So this can't be a four. This must be our four. Oh, five is actually done. We have a pair of sixes up here, and uh, this is a six, seven. I said to that. Keep looking at sixes. Um, Sevens then are a pair up there. And here, this was seven and nine, oh, let's put that in now. Ah, so seven and nine, so this was one and two, I'll put that in there. So that block is now finished. Back to the sevens. Um, sevens a pair there. Okay. Eights are a pair in the bottom row here. <coughs> And I remember eights are up here, here, and uh, also here, up there, they make a pair, and nines go there, and now this must be a nine, because nine blocks up here, and nine blocks up here, and nine across here, <coughs> so we can place the nine there, uh, that will put nines into those squares, where the twos are, so this seven is now not true. We can remove the seven and place our seven here, meaning this is a six and this is our seven, and then seven will be a pair up there. Don't know any more about the six now. Yep, six, but this is a pair now of two nine, right? So six blocks across here, so we know that six is in those squares, and therefore six is up there. So now we have middle and right column, middle and right column, so down here 6 has to be in the left column, which is there. Um, I think it's missing, oh 8 is missing up here, so we have 
uh, eight blocking up here. This is actually the only place an eight can go now. So that's our eight. This is our eight here. And the eight will be removed as a candidate there. And uh, eight blocking across here and across here. So eight is now in that square there and will appear down here. And this will be a seven. And we'll get rid of candidate. Uh, sorry, excuse me, candidate eight there and this missing number is a one so we'll put the one in there right this has to be a four because we've got six blocking here so we know that this is the six in fact and this is the four so four will appear here and this can be removed and replaced with a one and then the two will go here so down here one and that will be our two and this will be our one and this is our two and this one here gives us a six here and a one there. Seven here puts a nine in that square there, seven there. Uh, the two here actually says this must be a nine, and the two goes there. The last number across here is a one, put that in so I don't forget. Now we have one blocking up here and one blocking across here, so this is a pair of one and four now, so I can get this number down here. This has to be a six. And the missing number across here is nine. Do we have intersecting nines? No, but if this is three and nine, this has got to be three and nine. So nine blocks here. So that must be the nine. And this must be the three. And this must be the three. And that must be the nine. Okay, so nine goes in that square. And this nine will be removed. Uh, not much more to do now, is there really? Um, we have seven here, so this will be a six then. Seven in that square, six gives us a six here. And that six will be removed. Uh, this says one and four, that means that has to be one or four. This four blocks that from being a four, so this will be four. This will be one, this will be one. This is one, this is three. Three blocking down here, three blocking across here. That's our three, eight, and four. We'll finish the game. That's it. Thank you very much for the Los Angeles Times Expert Level Game. See you tomorrow, which is... Uh, actually, I'm going out tomorrow. It's I'm not working until the evening, but I'm going out for lunch, so uh, I don't know how, much, how many games I'll be playing tomorrow. But that's it. Bye-bye.